down to how to use your deck profile, ADV, playtest, and combo guide. So in this video, I'm just going to be showcasing really the key monsters in aliens and then and spells and traps and all those other things. And then I'll be talking about you know the combo guide and playtest guide. And with that, let's get on with the rest of the video. Okay, so now I'm going to be talking about one of the first uh, key monsters for aliens, which is Alien Kid. You're just a kid. And just play two. Who is the best number for this job? So this is the key card that um, produces A counters. And this is the one you're going to want on the field most of the time. As it produces A counters every time your opponent's uh, monster special summons, you know, a monster. So it's very ahead of its time considering when it was released and it's quite useful to this day as well. Definitely a key card then and a key card now. Um, let's go to the next main deck, Alien Monster. And here we have Alien Overlord, the level six and its effect. Um, it's very easy to summon and again, very ahead of its time as its effect was to remove two A counters from anywhere on the field to special summon this card. That's really convenient. Now, considering this came out during, um, you know, GOAT format around there, when the game was really quite slow. No, I think, maybe I think a bit later than that, but still, this was one of the first uh, most effects at the time that had a special summon effect that was related uh, to its archetype. Again, you got to remember during the time this card was released, um, card effects such as these, which are now pretty normal nowadays, were quite, uh, was very rare and this was the only exception at the time so very ahead of its time but anyways so what's its effect um while it's on the board once per turn you can place one a uh, an a count counter on each face of monster you put in controls um so this is a really useful card again because this is uh non-targeting as it just allow as it just says place um Obviously, I think with card text, I believe this is still class as targeting. I'm not sure. It's one of those things that where we'll have to get a ruling. We'll go to check with that. I believe it doesn't target because it says place, but rulings may have changed. Stuffs may have changed. So we don't know. That's definitely something uh, you'll need to look up when you play this deck. But anyways, the effect is still good as it states. You can um, just put eight counters on all face up monsters you put in controls. Really, really cool. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's move on to the last key monster, and then we'll go into the key extra deck, and then the key spells and traps. Okay, moving on. Okay, and so we're going to talk about a cell recombination device. Target one face-up boss on the, f on the field, send one alien monster from your deck to the graveyard, and if you do, place eight counters on that monster equal to that level of the sent monster. Again, that sounds oddly familiar. Really great in just placing those A counters on the board um, on your opponent's monster and then using, you know, Alien Mars that you can just make it that your opponent's monster doesn't have an effect by just simply normal summoning it. And because Alien Mars is a continuous effect and not an activated effect, it means they can't really stop this effect. You got to remember in Yu-Gi-Oh! continuous effects are some, uh, some are one of the hardest effects to get rid of in uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! As they don't activate, they just simply just exist. They're very um, similar to, hence the name, they're similar to, you know, continuous spells or traps. Very strong, very powerful. Um, because, as I like to say, the simpler the effect in Yu-Gi-Oh! is, the stronger it is. And so what's its other effect that in the graveyard? So its other effect is that while it's in the graveyard, except the turn it is sent, you can add any alien monster from your deck to your hand. Indeed, this is a key card in aliens. Because before this support, the only way that you could search um, alien monsters from, you know, alien monsters was this card right here, King of the Feral Imps. But now with this card, at the least, you can have another way, you can have a, in deck way of searching alien monsters without the need to go into the extra deck and so the extra deck becomes a second layer and so it just adds more uh, consistency and just you can add that extra thing that you need and finally so how can you set yourself up so i usually play three of these foolish burial goods this means that 
I can activate, you know, Foolish Burial Goods, send a cell recommendation device to the graveyard, and on the next turn, allows me to search. And another thing as well, the search, this card isn't once per turn. So you can send three copies with um, goods, and on your next turn, have three searches. Hey, that's pretty good. Okay, let's go on to our last two. Uh, Ice and Code Ancient Ruins. So, A Cell Breeding Vice, very nice card. As its effect is during each of your standby phases, put one counter, A counter, on face up A monsters your opponent controls. That sounds oddly familiar. This is going to happen on every standby phase of your standby phases, which is very useful as this card just basically places those A counters on there. This means that you're always going to be able to place monsters. A counters on your opponent's monsters they control, and because it doesn't target, it's just gonna put them on anyway, unless this card is destroyed. We have then the other card, which is really useful, is Code A Ancient Ruins. Now, this is a card, as we see, its effect is that if uh, face up alien monsters is destroyed, as it says, place an A counter on this card, but it's the other effect that's going to be really very important. Uh, once per turn, you can put your sub in two, uh, an alien monster from my grave from your graveyard by removing two A counters from anywhere on the field. That's going to be really cool. So you're going to use those A counters that you've been placing all this time and keep our, and you can revive your alien monsters from your graveyard. And because a fun fact as well, I wanted to say, I believe this card is, is it a soft once per turn? No, I think it's a hard once per turn. So I even feel that even if you have multiple copies, you're only going to be able to activate one of them uh, once uh, this turn. Hence why I only play one. But anyways, um, yeah, it's pretty good. I play these at one because they're searchable with the boss monster, which one will be going to key extra deck monsters. But yeah, in other words, yeah, it's, it's pretty good. It's pretty cool. Yeah, and really, that's about it. Let's go to the key extra deck monsters now. Okay, and here are the three... Um, you know, key extra deck monsters. These are the monsters that you're going to be using 90% of the time, what you're going to be going into 90% of the time. So, we have Cosmic Slicer Zero. Um, this is a Link 3. Now, its effect is absolutely outstanding. Um, so, let's look at it. Most of your opponent controls with A counters are changed to defense position. Also, neither player can activate their effects. That's too strong. Hmm, I wonder how you're going to do that. Moving on. And so what when this card is link summoned, so this only happens on uh on the card is link summoned, you can add one card from your deck to your hand that has an effect that places A counters. So that's basically every card in your deck, because mo every card in aliens has an effect, most of them anyway. That places eight counters. So that's practically everything. So the majority of cards you're going to be searching with this are going to be either A cell recombination device, A cell beating device, Code Ancient Ruins, Alien Overlord, as we see there, and a plethora of other cards. And so we, and yeah, so it's pretty cool. And so we have Cosmic Fortress Golgar. This was the Synchro Monster, as you see there. This was the uh, boss monster for aliens for quite a while until the new support, which was like 10 to 20 years later. Uh, the time frame of when aliens have had their support, just their new support has been so long. Uh, most people who have been playing, were playing aliens at the point of its release are now fully grown adults now. So it's just, it's really, really too late. But anyways, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So what was the plan for that? So during the time, there was what we called, uh, at the time of it, Fiendish Control, where we didn't have, at the time, obviously, of Aliens release, cards like a Fiendish Chain, there weren't many of these sort of effects in the game that negated a monster effect. Remember, we didn't have Breakthrough Skill, and we didn't have um, Effect Veiler. The only hand trap we had was DDD Crow. Fun fact, DDD Crow is the first hand trap uh, to be produced in the game that was used, we can say, competitively. The first official hand trap for Yu-Gi-Oh! is, in fact, Karibo. But, anyways, that's uh, 
pretty much it. We're talking about um, Cos Cos Cosmic Fortress Golgar. As we just see its effect there is that, you know, you remove two A counters and um, destroy one card on the field. That's once per turn. And you just select face up um, spell or traps you control, which would be the Fiendish Chain for, as, as we, as I like to say, Fiendish Control. And you do your thing. And we have King of the Feral Imps. Obviously, its effect is once per turn. You can detach one exosim material from this card, add any reptile monster from your deck to your hand. So this is essentially another copy of a cell recommendation device. It's another way to search your alien monsters, as all your alien monsters, yes, you guessed it, are all reptiles. And that's essentially it when it comes to the alien um, deck. So, yeah. Alien kid, draw. Alien Mars, draw. Symbols of Duty, draw. Stealth Buster, and the final card, draw Alien Mars. Okay, that's pretty much it. So what would we do now? we put that back to the hand. We would uh, typically just normal summon Alien Stealth Buster, and then end our turn. And yeah, that's pretty much it with the third hand. So the, you know, boards we're gonna make on the first turn are not exactly uh, the best here. Um, even mutants made uh, better boards than this, but essentially Here that's where we're going with here Yeah And uh, that's re it really Okay, let's see the hand draw fiendish chain draw fiendish chain draw alien shock trooper draw unexpected die and then draw unexpected die so let's see what we're doing from this. Shuffle those back in to the hand and go. So we'll activate Unexpected Die to a uh, special summon or normal monster, which would be Alien uh, Shock Trooper. Okay, okay. Then we would then set the two fingers chains face down. Um, normal summon, the one from our hand. Overlay these two and we would make um, King of the Feral Imps would activate its effect in order to add any reptile. So we're going to be adding Alien Overload and then we would end our turn pretty much. This is one of the best hands you can get with aliens. Again, aliens are not exactly what I would call the fastest deck nowadays. They're quite slow, so pretty much that's it. Let's go to our final test hand. Okay, so let's do some uh, test hands uh, that we are going to get with aliens. Draw. 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 Two, three, four. Draw. There it is. So this is your typical hand you'll get with aliens. They're not exactly the best, but let's see what we do with this. So we'll go whatever with that. We will uh, normal summon alien uh, stealth buster. Then we will target, uh, would activate this card here. A cell recombination device, allowing us to send uh, an alien monster from our deck. So we're gonna send the alien shock trooper from the deck to the graveyard and that would get for a counters okay because we're targeting an face up monster on the field and send any monster yep uh we can't use the graveyard effect of a cell recombination device and since this will have four a counters we can activate the effect of alien overlord removing two a counters and special summoning it and then we would set this card uh face down and then um, we would end our turn. We wouldn't really go into a link summon or anything like that. And it would be on the next turn, second turn, that you would do something. That's how really aliens um, operate. They're quite s slow, really. Okay, let's go to the next hand. We come to the end of this video. So, as I like to say, you are one step closer to becoming a Yu-Gi-Oh! Master. My fate, right, is in your hands.